I don't know yeah. about you, but when I get stuck is when I want to go back yes. Yes. and I want to hold on to things because yeah. it's too painful, the thought of someone leaving me. Yes. Yeah. And that's the unhealthy yeah. thing yes. in a friendship. Yeah. It's yeah. not the leaving, it's yes. the, they left me. What does that say about yeah. me? Oh, yes. Yeah. When conflict really does arise, like say Paul and Barnabas about Mark, it's like, how do you keep going without needing to tarnish the reputation of somebody else? I think yeah. it's really important yeah. in the kingdom. I yeah. think Barnabas did work <laughs> while he wasn't on the road for the kingdom. Yeah. Yeah. And um, I don't know what Mark was doing, but apparently he came back around. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know what I'm saying? It's very hard. And I think that process in real time, the nitty gritty, like where the rubber really meets yes. the road is pursuing God and just asking him to show you you and assuming mm -hmm. that between two humans, nobody is 100% right, yeah. yep. nobody is 100% yep. wrong. Yeah. And asking the Lord, what did you want to show me about yes. this? And so good. what have I participated in that didn't please you? Mm -hmm. Or, you know, maybe this has offended me this time, but where did I participate? Yeah. And please forgive me. Let me yeah. repent That's and confess job. that yes. so that, one, I can have grace and mercy. Yeah towards the person that I have conflict with, yeah. but then so I can be right with the Lord and actually move mm -hmm. in forward motion, you know, because yeah. the conflict mm -hmm. is hard, yeah. but it happens yeah. Yeah. in the church. And it doesn't yeah. mean it's not always Demas. Sometimes mm -hmm. it really is Barnabas. Mm -hmm. And it's like, yeah. they're not not saved. Yeah. Yeah. They just had a conflict with you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't like when things go wrong yeah. because yeah. I feel like there's something yeah. wrong with me. Mm -hmm. So I got to fix it yeah. rather than release it. Release it. Mm -hmm. And what's so interesting about Paul is like God already had Priscilla and Aquila mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. ready yeah. to join him That's on right. mission. So yeah. And he had to be in that uncomfortable tension. Yeah. That's right. Maybe Gosh. it was a, a journey on foot yeah. and there should have been, you know, 10 and there were seven or yeah. whatever. There was yeah. people missing and he had to just be in that tension yeah. and go forward. Yeah. yeah. Not look back, not try and go back for them. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And God had them ready. That's right. On assignment. And then he brings Apollos and he yeah. takes the baton. And it's yeah. all of it is moving forward. And yeah. I don't know about you, but when I get stuck is when I want to go back. Yes. Yes. And I want to hold on to things because yeah. it's too painful, the thought of someone leaving me. Yes. Yeah. And that's the unhealthy yeah. thing yes. in a friendship. Yeah. It's yeah. not the leaving, it's yes. the they left me. What does that say about yeah. me? Oh, yes. Yeah. What no one ever told me about getting into local church leadership and specifically church planting is you're left a lot. Yes. You're yeah. left a lot That's over really and good. over yeah. and over again. Yeah. And if you're doing it right, if you're doing local church ministry right, yeah. you have deep love for the people mm -hmm. who yes. come. Yes. And so then you experience deep grief yeah. when they leave. Yes. And so a few years into to leading our church, I just was like, this is not, I cannot do this, God. This mm -hmm. is not it. I'm, I am, this is a new theme in my life that I cannot bear the weight of being left over and over and over again. And, um, I do feel like God started to teach me how to grieve. Yeah. Um, and, and, and showed me that that's a really important part of the process. And yeah. then in the, in the kind of dust and ashes of that season, he also, spoke a new word over my life. And I felt like mm. he said also, um, you're going to be a great sender. Yeah. Mm. You're going to be yes. a great sender. Wow. So and good. you are going to commission people. Um, and you're going to push people out. And um, you're going to ha still have people who come close to you. And you're going to still get to grieve the people who leave in a painful way. Yeah. But I'm going to teach you how to do this in a way that's new, um, so that maybe you haven't had done for you, yes. you know? And so I just want to honor and, and hold space for this truth that the reason why this is painful is because we are better together. Yeah. Because we're made in the image of God. That's right. Mm -hmm. And because our God is one who understands and lives in communion himself. Yes. Yes. And so it's painful not because people are toxic. It's not painful um, because not always, not always because we did something wrong. Yeah. It's painful because we live under the effects of a fallen world mm -hmm. and we're meant for communion. Yeah. And so that gives me a little bit of solace sometimes yeah. Yeah. when I'm in the dark night, yes. <laughs> you know, to remember this is painful because yeah. God's good. Yes. This is painful so. because I'm meant for love and communion mm -hmm. and connection yes. and relationship. Yes. Yes. So 
such a I just want to snapshot that because mm -hmm. I feel like we say to people all the time, um, the scripture that he's working everything for our good. That's a snapshot of that. Here's how the Lord intended us to be, right? Yeah. Together. And we live in a fallen world, so that falls apart as well. Mm -hmm. But even in even coming to a, a toxic relationship, coming to a pinnacle, has a lot to say about us and where yeah. the Lord wants to yeah. heal us. Yeah. And that is literally him making good yeah. from every kind of thing. Yeah. If we'll give it to him, yeah. if we'll say, this is actually just, this is just ashes. Mm -hmm. I was hoping you could make some beauty. You know what I mean? Yeah. And he's like, here's the exchange. This is just sorrowful. I was mm -hmm. hoping you would give me some joy. Yeah. And that's the exchange. That's him making good that even a toxic relationship coming to a head, yeah. he still is looking at each of us like, now, if you'll let me, I'll show yes. you something yeah. and I'll bring healing in it. Yeah. That is however many years old. Mm -hmm. And I'll actually give you freedom from that yeah. so that you don't carry that wound around. Mm -hmm. And instead it will be a blessing for people. Like bad yes. company. Mm -hmm. ruins good character. Mm -hmm. So you do have to be really careful yeah. mm -hmm. who who we hang out, who I yeah. hang out yeah. with. Yeah. I have yeah. to be really careful who my kids hang out that's with. Right. But you can't stay yeah. in this bubble yeah. and yes. anything right. that's, you know, yeah. challenging is toxic. That's yeah. not true either. Yeah. But I was reading this article about toxic relationships. Mm. You know, if you put something toxic in something that is pure, it becomes mm. dangerous, yeah. Yeah. hazardous. Yes. So a toxic relationship is hazardous to your health, your emotional yeah. health, yeah. your mental health, your spiritual health. Yeah. So I say we definitely have to be on the lookout yeah. Yeah. for those in our life or on our children's lives. Yeah. Or, yes. right. But it had this run sheet of you know, <laughs> things that you can identify in a toxic relationship. Okay. And it Here says, and this was between females. Okay. Um, uh -huh. So they only call when they want something. Mm. There's always a drama of some sort. Mm. They put you down or make fun of you in front of others. That's toxic. Oh, thank mm. you. You feel bad about yourself when you've spent time with someone toxic. Oh, Not talking right. about insecurity. Yeah. Yeah. Just talking about, it's like yeah. a residual, right. just a flavor. You are excluded from things with mutual friends. Mm -hmm. They aren't happy for you when good things happen. Mm -hmm. They use your secrets against you and share them with others. Oh. They often gossip about others to you. That's highly toxic. Yes. Mm -hmm. And it's more about them yeah. and their problems. That's more than just an, a one-way arrow. Mm -hmm. That's an unhealthy yeah. soul. Yeah. That's good. Comes into your life, starts to take margin. Yeah. Yes. Capacity. Right. Yeah. Health. Yes. And you are dragged into something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so I'm thinking, is there any relationships like that mm -hmm. where you were like, flag, 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 yeah. flag. And mm -hmm. how do you extract yourself yeah. in a way that's godly mm -hmm. and is gives dignity to the other person? Mm -hmm. What do you think? Gosh. I walked through something like this. And I'll say um, mm -hmm. just in full honesty, What's interesting is it, it wasn't the, the Demas situation. Mm -hmm. They did not change. Mm -hmm. But what I found was there was something unhealthy in me that had craved that relationship when it started. Yeah. yeah. So I was not in a healthy spot. They never changed. They were who they were. And I moved wow. closer toward that. So so there was genuine conviction for me. It wasn't just like, oh, you're yeah. a mess. Yeah. It's yeah. like, oh, there was something yeah, in me right. that craved your company. Wow. Yeah. There was something yeah. in me that that loved this conversation a year ago and now is realizing this is not how I want right. to use my words. Right. Wow. Um, I want to keep other people safe. I don't yeah. I don't want to gossip and and mm -hmm. I wanna hope the best in others. Yeah. I don't want to do this thing. Right. Um and so I will say here's how it looked for me. First, I went with confession. So first I went to the person and said, wow. listen, I, I've been wrong here mm. and I need to honor God. And I just want to say like, I, I did not say you make me uncomfortable. I said, the way I'm talking, the way we're talking is making me uncomfortable. These, these patterns and rhythms that you and I have together are making me uncomfortable. Mm. And I need to shift something about that. And I want to let you know. And what I probably should have seen as a really big red flag immediately is they were like, no, 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 no. We're good. We're safe. Everybody needs safe people. And I was like, totally. But even with my safe people, 
Yeah. I want to use my words in a God honoring yes. way, yeah. you know, so, um, I want to live like my mics are always on, yeah, you know what yes. I'm saying? As it were. Yeah, and right. so, yes. <laughs> um, I should have seen that as a red flag, but then I, a little bit more time passed and then I was able to be a little bit more direct and say, um, Hey, it's not just how we're talking. It's like some of these rhythms that I think you and I are just stuck in some of these mental groups. Yeah. groups. We, yeah. We've made some neural pathways together yes. that maybe we're yeah. going to need to get, get out of. And I yeah. want to be a little honest that I, I just, you and I, like, it's like, we just fall into these patterns and this is not, yeah. we could be so much mm -hmm. more. And I tried to speak vision because I'm a person who stays, yeah. you know? Yeah. And so I try to speak vision. What if we did this? Or what if we went here? Or what if we moved to this new place together? Um, and then that didn't go well. And so then for me, I'm, I like to be really direct and I, and I didn't want to ghost and I didn't, I wanted to be really clear. And so I had the very awkward, painful conversation of, I don't think this is a relationship I can sustain anymore. Yeah. Um, and I love you and I, I'm going to cheer you on from afar. Um, but I want to be really clear that. Yeah. I, don't, I can't stay in relationship anymore and I bless you. And I'm, there's, I'm not saying wow. there's anything wrong with you. I'm saying like, this is not good for me anymore. And it was painful yeah. and it was wow. awkward and it did take grieving. Mm. And, and that wasn't to say that I walked away feeling self-righteous. I, I, I had to keep carrying, like there was something in me mm, that yeah. moved toward this, that let this take up a lot yeah. of space in my life. Yeah. And um, there was something in me that craved that. Yeah. And I had to keep watching that and paying attention mm. to that. Um, and there was no redemptive end yeah. except for God healed my heart over time, you know, but we did not circle back yeah. and become friends again a year later, two years later. Yeah. Yeah. At TBN, our mission is to use every available means to reach as many individuals and families as possible with the life-changing gospel of Jesus Christ. Thank you for helping make the gospel of grace go around the world. And it's because of you that partner with us that this ministry continues. God bless you.